Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm going to show you how to do the bone cone jump or the super cone jump, uh, whatever you want to call it. I know that Flyer does it a lot too, but Bo is the first one that I kind of saw do it personally. Um, I had a lot of trouble at first learning how to do this because I kept uh, looking down after I flipped the ramp instead of look already looking up. Um, this is me trying to do it at first. Like It feels like you can get it, but you just like can't get high enough. I don't know how to explain it. Like the ramp flips, like my, I didn't like jitter at all, so they were good, but like I just couldn't get the floor down. Um, in the next flip, I'll slow it down and I'll show you like kind of what it looks like when you, when you do it right. All right, so here's where I finally kind of figured it out need to like look up like where you can put a wall where I was kind of looking and then flip and do it. I'll do it real quick. Like that. Alright, here's another clip where I slow it way down. If you can put a wall like up there, like don't put one obviously, but if you can do it, then you're golden. That's, like once I figured that out, um, I'd say my success rate is probably like 80% instead of like 30. So yeah, just practice that and then you guys should be good to go. Um, the next part I'm going to show you what it looks like in like instant replay of what your body does. And yeah. All right, so here's instant replay. Like it's not going to be like super good obviously. It's going to look kind of like scuffed here. You'll see in a second like that. But when you see like if you can get your knees above where that floor should go, then it'll phase you up. And you should be good. And there's another clip right here. Yeah, I don't know why it does that replay, but you can see my knees are here just get above it. So it phases me up. And that's it. So thanks guys. Have fun.